Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can utilize page object design pattern in the robot framework. So in the last tutorial, I have explained about the theoretical concept of the page object design pattern. Now, before you actually go ahead and start implementation, the first thing is to do a bit of analysis for the application that you are going to test. Now, in our case, I'm taking an example of eBay website. So let me open the eBay website. Now here, say for example, you have a portal, right? Or online e-commerce portal that you want to test. Before you go ahead and start doing the page object modeling, uh, just go through the application and see what are the components that you can uh, combine them as one. So for example, here on this eBay website, right, this is the landing page. So once you, um, once you open the website in your browser, this is the page that opens for the eBay.com. Now on this particular page, there are many logical components, right? So for example, here at the top, you see this header. So this header, if I type in any text, say for example, I type in robot and click on search then you can see the header still remains there. If I select any of the product and on the product detail page, the header still remains there. So this looks like a logical entity that can be created as a page object or as a page, right? Then if you go back to the home page or the, the landing page, this is one entity or this can be created as a landing page which has certain elements which are which are the web elements for example these links here electronics fashion etc and the button here the search button or the see all or popular destination buttons right so multiple sections here on this particular landing page so you can create one page file or robot file for this particular landing page and define the common methods that can be utilized in your test cases in that particular landing page that you create. So if I open my PyCharm here, you can see that I have created the page object header page, product details page, and search results page, right? So header page is basically this header here, which has search text box, then you, you have the option of all categories drop down, you have the search button, and then you have the advanced link, right? And then you can also choose shop by category. So these, because this header is consistent across many pages, so it's, it, it's a good practice to create a separate page for this whole header. Now, there is a page for the landing page. So how we can create the page object simply right click so i have created the folder page objects in the resources and in the page objects i'll create the robot file and i'll say landing page dot robot right and now on this landing page it's same so for example in the settings variables and keywords we'll simply copy that and in the settings will import selenium library and in the keywords now will define the common functionality of the landing page so for example if i open the header page here you will see in the keywords i have defined the user defined keywords which is basically input search text and click search right which makes a lot of sense because in this particular page here which is the header page if i open the browser then as a user, what, what is the common functionality that you'll do in terms of basic search or advanced fun search functionality? A user will input the text in this text box and click on the search button here, right? So for example, I enter the text robot and click on search, then it will redirect me to another page here, right? But the header still remains. And that is why this header page is created as a separate page object, but the next page is the search results page, right? So here, after clicking on the search button, the page structure changes 
and in the search results page now there are many other functionality that can be tested for example selecting the condition delivery option or selecting the best match drop down so all these methods or the functionality can be created as a user defined keyword in the search results page so in the search results page what we can do is we can select we'll open search results page right and we can simply define a keyword which will say for example here select the product condition right so you can just say select product condition right and now in the product condition below this keyword you can define the code which is basically the selenium library keywords and you can define the code that will select the product based on the condition similarly you can define another keyword which will be select delivery options right and now once these keywords are being defined these can be utilized in your test cases and you can reuse these keywords again and again from this particular search results page object right so going back to the landing page here now on the landing page for example let us define some of the keywords here so for example select any of the links here right so you we can define select um, the shopping categories so you can define these categories you can provide your keywords and then provide the details below these keywords right so that's how you will create your page objects in the robot framework once you have defined these page objects now because i have already created the header page and in the header page you can see that i have created the keyword input search text and click search so what this keyword is in turn doing is calling the selenium library keywords which is input text at a certain location with this is the x path for this search text box here and then the next keyword is pressing the keys which is pressing the search keys here right and now this keyword will be utilized in our test cases similarly to verify the advanced search i have created a keyword click on advanced search link and then it is just clicking on this advanced link here now this these two keywords have been defined in the header page now going back to the search results page in the search results page once the user enters the text okay so for example robot and click on search then it redirects to a separate or a different page which is not similar to the landing page and that is why this has been created as a separate page object named as search results page right and in the search results page what i'm doing is we are verifying the search results and we are saying page should contain whatever results we are trying to search for similarly there can be selection of the condition or delivery option which we can define using the selenium library keywords in this user defined keywords right now once we have defined all these page objects for the pages then we can go to the test case here so i have opened the test case and the test case says verify search functionality and now in this particular functionality i am referring to the resource common functionality because i'm using the test setup and test tear down which is basically starting the test case and finishing the test case so opening the browser and launching ebay.com and then tear down is closing the browser and then there are two test cases and now these test cases are not referring to the user defined keywords uh, that we have defined we can still use it but in our case we are referring to the keywords that have been defined in the page object right so now it is much clear when we are saying input search text and click search where exactly it is coming from so you can see now it is coming from header page i have appended this header page and the search results page 
so that in our test case we whenever we are going and see uh, want to see where exactly these keywords are defined we can easily correlate that this input search text and click search is defined in the header page right so this is the keyword that we have defined which is basically entering the input text and pressing the keys right so going back to the test case here then the next method that we want to verify that we want to call as part of this test case is that we want to verify the search results and this verifies the basic search now another test case that we have added is to verify the advanced search functionality and we are not doing the whole advanced search just uh, to save the time we will be just uh, clicking on the advanced search link as part of this test case the whole purpose of showing all these things to you is to make you understand how you can design your test cases or structure your test cases and the page objects in robot framework so that it becomes a lot easier to write your test cases and make uh, or reuse a lot of code without code duplication and that's the whole purpose of page object model in the robot framework so here you can see i have two test cases and what I'm doing is I'm just um, opening uh, the browser and on the uh, basic search functionality I'm inputting certain text and clicking on search and then verifying the search result in the second test case it is advanced search functionality so we are simply verifying the advanced search functionality now you, if you want to add any other search test cases what you can do is you can simply add new test cases in the same file and reuse the keywords that you have defined in the page objects wherever these keywords are defined just import or the resource file that you have defined here so here you can see that i have imported the common functionality header page and the search results page because that these are the only keywords that i'm utilizing as of these test cases once you import these resource file just keep on adding the test cases as per the functionality or the requirement for the testing now you can see with this approach say for example you want to add another test case which requires you to input a search text in a text box and then click on search button right then you can simply use this header page object that we have defined and this particular keyword in any of your test case without worrying that this will uh, or without being um, changing anything in this particular keyword for your particular test case if anything needs to be changed that needs to be changed into this particular page object or in uh, other in future tutorial what i'll also do is we won't hard code any of the x path or the variables in the page object file as well so we'll externalize that as well so once we have that whole structure in place it will be really really easy to maintain your test case and make sure that there is very less uh, code duplication or minimal code duplication and the code maintenance becomes a lot easier right so let us go ahead and execute this particular test case and see the results and we'll also verify or we'll also analyze the results so i'm opening uh, this particular test case so it's executing now and it will open ebay.com maximize the browser enter text search for the text mobile first test case pass it started the second test case which is basically launching the advanced search window and so let's see the results so the second test case failed here let me see the report and see the reason for that so here if i go to all tests so no keyword with the name landing page dot okay so in our test case what we have done is here we have moved this keyword to the header page so there is no keyword click on advanced search link on the landing page so on the landing page there is nothing there in the header page there is click on advanced search link right so i have to change this to header page so it, i'll just say header page dot 
click on advanced search link right and rerun this particular test and now both of the test case should pass so it's running the first test case so it verified the basic search first test case passed opening the browser for the second test case which is the advanced search and clicked on the advanced search and closed the window so now you can see two test total two passed so if you go to the report now i'll open it in the browser right so report is all green two test cases total two passed if i go to all test case and try to analyze these test case now so now you can see that these two are the tests right so verify basic functionality then you have the setup and tear down so here we have setup and tear down so we have used test setup and test tear down and that is why it is coming in the report as well and then we have the keyword right so keyword is header page dot input search text and click search and then another keyword is search results page so these header page and search results page are the page object that we created and in turn these page objects are then calling selenium library keywords that have been defined in these page objects similarly in the search results page you will see the selenium library keywords which are being called so if we go to the results uh, go to the pycharm again here right so if i go to the header page so these are the keywords and then th these user defined keywords are in turn calling the selenium library keyword input text and press keys to implement this whole keyword for our test case right so going back to the report again now you can see with with this particular report it is so clear that if any there is any failure you can easily go ahead and see where exactly the failure is and also this eases the task of maintenance code maintenance for you when you are using page object design pattern in the robot framework so that's pretty much about the implementation of the robot uh, implementation of the page uh, object design pattern in robot framework hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching